five-star burst onto the political scene in 2009. Founded by comedian Beppe Grillo, the movement gathered momentum as he railed against everything from the euro to corruption to Italy's rigid political and economic system. Grillo has now taken a back seat. The new face of Five Star is Luigi Di Maio. In just five years, the 31-year-old has gone from being an unemployed university dropout to the front-runner candidate for prime minister. Ahead of Sunday's vote, Di Maio announced his potential cabinet. Almost all of them are political newcomers, something that appeals to Carol Maloney, who, like other Five Star supporters, is disillusioned and angry with Italy's traditional political elites. When I saw this team of ministry that he uh, was presenting, and I saw the kind of people uh, that were all professional, they were all uh, professional in their fields, the fields that they uh, are destined to work in, and I've uh, heard their vision, I said maybe we are going to make it this time, to make an experiment, okay? It's better to see these people, how they work, instead of uh, seeing Berlusconi coming back. Most of Five Star's campaigning has played out on social media, but a rally in Rome on Friday showed the scale of the movement's support. Polls predict Five Star will get around 28% of the vote on Sunday, more than any other party. But to form a government, they need 40% of the vote, and they've ruled out forming a coalition, although that could change. Clearly, it's the only way they're ever going to get into government. And I think Di Maio is, uh, the young leader, is uh, ambitious. I think he would like to be prime minister, and that's the only way he's going to be prime minister. So. Five Star has always cherished its reputation as the ultimate renegade. But after nearly a decade of raging against the powerful, the populist movement says it is now ready to rule. An idea which is sending shivers down the spine of Italy's financial and political establishment and Europe as well. Kate Parkinson, CGTN, Rome.